Okay, now we finally get to pearl powder. Pearl powder is probably one of these ingredients that you've never heard of. A lot of people don't hear of pearl powder. And I mean, it's fair because the only food grade pearl powder that's available in the world, and remember, this was really hard for us to get, it's available in China. It's the only one in the world. Um, and it's the only one we can trust. So that's where we ship it from. Anyway, pearl powder is the ingredient that allows Afro D, right? Afro D right here, to have no spikes and no crashes. Now, I really started understanding the power of pearl powder when guys like Andre and Van and other guys in the Afro D Academy, a few others, they started raving about how they're taking Afro D about an hour or two before sleeping and it helps them sleep. And I understand that Hushu Wu could help them sleep, right? There's a sleeping component in there to calm the mind, but pearl powder is the one that's really doing it. Pearl powder is a cooling agent inside Afro D. Because look, most herbs out there, they either don't know what ratio of pearl powder to put in there. Most of them don't even have pearl powder. They don't even know it exists. But most of them, they're very assertive. They're very testosterone driven. They're very uh, hot herbs. But the fact that we put pearl powder inside Afro D and formulated it with the perfect ratio and concentration is because we wanted Afro D to be taken every day. Like I don't want to do five days of awesome performance and get man's natural edge for five days, but then two days I'm without it. That doesn't make any sense. So pearl powder is what allows Afro D to, we don't need to have it cycled. We can take it every day for the rest of our life. So that's what pearl powder is. So no crashes, no spikes. Now it's essentially just a preparation of pearls. And where do we get them from? Oysters and mussels. Mussels, however you say it. And these are mollusks that you get on the beach, you know, in the sea. Okay, and again, on, the only food grade is available in China and that's where we get it from. Now, what are the benefits? Well, it calms the mind, but what do we mean by that? It increases GABA activity. GABA is a neurotransmitter in the brain that is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. When it's released, it inhibits certain activity in the brain, it slows the activity, it calms the brain down. A lot of even drugs that are downers impact the GABAergic pathway, GABAergic neuron. So that is the mechanism through which pearl powder is doing its thing. It lowers anxiety, lowers nervousness. This has been found in pearl powder studies. And again, I mentioned no need for cycling. It's again an antioxidant, just like Hushu, just like Schizandra berry. And finally, it's used for beauty. It's been used for beauty in traditional Chinese medicine. And we always bring that because we respect this. So skin, hair, and nails are increased in their health and potency and their power. And how? It slows down melanin production and melanin is what causes freckles and skin spots and things like that. So because it slows down melanin production over life, it's anti-aging and it will lower the amount and frequency of freckles that you're gonna get over your lifetime, which is super awesome. And it maintains hydration. That's what pearl powder does. Now, let me get into some other very interesting things about pearl powder. Now, what is it? It's car calcium carbonate or magnesium carbonate. If you're wondering what the actual molecule is, it's this. It has 10 essential amino acids and it has six non-essential amino acids. So it's a really cool ingredient. And, and I have yet to see any herb that is such a powerful herb for men that includes pearl powder because people haven't realized that 
we don't need to cycle herbs. You can just put a cooling ingredient in there to calm yourself down, to keep yourself grounded and on the earth and, and, and just walk around the world with ease. And that is what pearl powder allows us to do. All right. So that's this. This is the, the fourth, actually the fifth whiteboard because the first one was intro. So we did intro. We did Tonkata Lee. We did Schizandra Berry. We did Hushu Wu. Now we did pearl powder. And the last slide, I'm going to conclude, show you a, just a few things. I'm going to draw a few things and uh, talk a little bit about testing and quality and uh, show you some other stuff. So stay tuned.